In this tutorial, in Adobe Premiere Elements, we'd like to give you some tips on inserting graphic images into your title text. First, we'd like to show you some examples of the types of things you can do, and then we'll show you some steps to create something like that yourself. You'll note I have on the screen two tracks populated already. I have an audio track, number one, which is music, and a video track, number two, which is only video. We're going to use this to promote a boat sail. So I need to add some text. I'm going to go to the text option at my menu at the very top and choose new text and then default text. I have my adjustments panel open on the right. It says add text. Immediately, I'm going to try a different kind of text. I'll click on the Style tab and click on this option over here for an example. And that changes the style of my text. It's too small for me, so I'm going to click back on the Text tab. Then I can just drag to the right and enlarge it. I'll make it overly large for the sake of this video. And then we'll simply center it on the screen horizontally and vertically. Now, if I want to add an a graphic image in the text, all I need to do is move the cursor where I want it. First of all, let's get our text going. I'll drag across all the characters and we'll type boat sail. Now let's assume I want my graphic image between the two words, so I'm going to click and put my cursor there, and then I'll right click, click on image, and I will put insert image into text. This will give me what's called an inline image. It will be in line with that layer, that sentence, if you will, that line in the text. Now I go and find the image I want. I'll take this blue price break and click on Open. And it takes a bit for it to recognize it. But now I have it right between the word boat and the word sail. And I could put it before both words or after both words. There's either even more than that that I can do if I want. I'm going to click back on the text and we'll get in the edit mode. I'm going to highlight it and I can delete it just like if we were a character. And I'm going to go after the word sail, press enter to get to a second line. And I can right click. I can go insert again, image, insert image into text. We'll click the same one, and when it catches up, we'll see it on the screen. There it is. And I can actually center it if I want. I can center that line over here on my Adjustments panel, and now I have Price Break there. Or I can simply back it up and put it on the same line as far away or close as I want. And when I scale the text, if I click on the, the entire text segment, I can scale it larger or smaller, and price break, as you see, will change as if it were another character inside. Now there's a couple things I can also do if I want to go to the Animation tab on my text. If I want to say Drop In by Character, I click on that. I can click on the Apply button at the very bottom. And now I've applied that to this entire segment. Let's see what happens to the image when we render this and watch it run. Okay. So we notice it does drop in just like the other letters. So that's a nice, nice option. Now let's see what does it what happens if we try to apply a transition to the entire text. I'm going to go to my transitions room and let's take um, a a swing in, drag and drop it down at the beginning of this particular title. And Let's see what happens. 
You notice because I already have animation working inside the title, in this case the transitions doesn't make a difference. And it doesn't affect the graphic. So what I'm going to do now is show you the other way in which you can use graphics in the title. I'm going to remove the transition for now. And then we'll get back into our title. I'm going to take this price break and delete it. And now we're going to add an, a graphic image the second way. This is not inline. So I'm going to right click and choose image and then add image instead of insert image. And then I can go and pick the same image. And here I have my price break. I'm going to go back to my text tab and click on the arrow so I can control what I grab. And now I can move this independently of the text anywhere I want to put it on the screen. So I can take the text and move it one place and the image and put it someplace else. I cannot change the timing of these. They are still timed together. They're still on the screen for the same duration. But now I can scale it independently of my text. They don't scale together. And so when we render this, we'll go back and render it. You notice what happened is the animation still applies to the text, but it does not apply to the image. So it doesn't drop in like, the, like it did before. There's another option. Let's go back to the same title and see what happens when we add an effect. Now let's try the swing in effect here for the entire title and see what happens in this case. We'll render it. Okay, now in this case, I was able to use my transition on the graphic, even though it did not impact the letters here because they were already controlled by an animation control. So that's a way to do two different things, as it were, in the same kind of transition duration. Now, again, you're limited by the fact that when you put these together, they're on the screen for the same amount of time although you can control them slightly differently. The other option you have is to take a graphic like this and put it right inside your media. So in my project assets, I have price break. I'm going to take and drag and put this on a different track. And now I'm going to resize it. and move it. And now I can control this independently. Now the advantage is this can be on the screen before or after my text is on the screen. So right now when the text stops here, uh, I won't say this on the screen any longer. But now on this particular icon on the right, the text is gone and this stays the same. I also can apply, apply a very different independent transition to this one. Let's go to the transition room. Uh, let's go to the zoom options. Do a normal zoom. Put that on at the beginning. Apply it. And then we'll render this segment again. Go back and let's see what it looks like. All right, so it has its own transition, its own controls. Sometimes you like to have the image away from the text, controlling it on the screen for a different time period with a different focus. Sometimes with the text, you can do both in Premiere Elements.